Again, I don't know what we're gonna get from the laundry services other than maybe the address for the chemist. Like, maybe they have his address on file. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a headlight. You can buff glass out, right? <laughs> nice. Superior laundry. I do love the look of these uh, the, the laundry machines themselves. They have, like, an ornateness that I appreciate. I'm sure they're highly inefficient need? compared to today, but they look so nice. Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Uh huh. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock oh, yourself okay. out. Okay, sure. I mean, as long as you give us the information that we need through the book. Number one's, uh. Yep, J6. Yep. Yep. J. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Who is Hangstrom? Hmm. Could be someone else from the factory. Oh. Does he have an address? Um. No. Not that we saw. No. Nope. Just pick up. Huh. Interesting. Thank you for all your help, sir. Huh, Angstrom. Yeah. I guess we can at least look up the name, right? Oh, oh, there's a phone here. Uh, where? I'm assuming we're gonna ask for the address of the of the Operator, person, right? Give me dispatch. Hey, that's awesome, KD. That is very good news. Four weeks of paid vacation. Ooh. One, two, four, seven. Hopefully you got, uh, like a nice and leisurely an Oscar calendar ready to go. No for Nothing stressful in those four weeks, just chilling. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. All right, so where do we want to go from here then? I guess, yeah, we, we the only lead we have is, is the coded address. Oop. Uh, not here to not here to get into a fight with you. We've, we've done battle with enough tram cars as it is. Knocking one right off the rails and then getting into a actual like battering ram fight with one. That was a cool set piece, I gotta say. Is it behind here? No. It's up above. Okay. What's the best way to get up there? Oh, okay, there's natural stairs in the front. Perfect. Ooh, very nice. A uh, 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 personal favorite, favorite f pasta that I, I love to make. And it's a bit of a crowd pleaser. It's like one of those things that it's, it's fun to make. Ah, Tomoko Akamoto. Well, well. Yeah. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamoto? Very weird for this, or Akamoto. Uh, to, to be her personal address. Uh, one of my favorite crowd-pleasing pasta recipes is uh, pasta carbonara. Always good. I mean, people like egg, people like bacon. It's hard not to, to enjoy. All right, where? Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. I think someone got here first. So I turned the place over. Yep. Better watch your step. What do we got here? Huh. It's a hair clip. Oh, no. No, it's a you police know, officer tie place? pin. Yep. Sure. That apartment gives you one of those ones. Uh huh. Then what the hell is it doing here? Oh, uh, oh no! I just I I love a good carbonara. It's just so much fun. Hmm, what do we got here? Oh, jeez. Okay. So some violence took place here. Yep. That looks like blood to me. What do we got here? Ooh. Another one. This is like the matching. Like we have a match. Yeah. What is that? An earring? Yeah. Oh. Interesting dame this I Microfilm. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document from exactly. the thumbnail. Espionage. Well, have amazing eyesight. Oh, I mean, you put it under, but it's fine. It's fine. You don't need to know the, the ins and outs of how you develop microfilm. Interesting. Huh. I mean, that's a great way to hide it in plain sight, right? Okay. Hmm. Aglio e lo olio. I'm assuming that is like an, like an oil-based pasta then. I mean, I love like an oil and herb pasta. Like, that is one of my favorite, like, quick, quick fix meals. Oh, jeez. 
Okay. Now the question is, is this our chemist? You think I could fit in there? <laughs> I could fit in there. I'm like glad that's you your thought process. To say about getting shoved in a fridge. Yeah, Herschel. Uh-huh. Yep. Alright, who the hell is this? Huh. Nice watch. Jeans Lindbergh. Very nice watch. Very expensive watch. Oh. Flyboys. I always wanted Interesting. One Flyboys. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. <laughs> do you know what? I love, you know, Herschel, you keep us grounded. Uh, do we have anything? No, nothing on the chest. Other than the fact that it seems like a shotgun blast rocketed him. Class rank. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, so far no idea on whoever this guy is. Looks like a mob hit though. One in the head. On the yeah. Ground. Double tap. Professional. Yep. Huh. John Doe. Yeah, I have no idea who this guy is. Okay, we got everything here. Edge 525. Oh, calling it in. Thanks, buddy. A couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll yeah, this is a very curious form. case. Probably a team from technical services as well. You got nothing else? Or, or do you want us to call? Okay, I guess one we could call too. Operator, message for KGPL. Oh, maybe, maybe there's a message from the, the air base. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. Because, yeah, it seems like we have, please. you know, at least a retired pilot, maybe. Oh. Can you put me through? Okay. It's ringing now. What does he want to do with this? We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from oh. Edward Field. Uh -huh. Okay. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner, Ooh. either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. It's over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. Interesting. Okay. So it's a military part. Yeah. Why do they have military Could parts? Be, but get this: the Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360. The Spruce Goose. I think you better get over there and check it out. Interesting. We're on it. I mean, the, the Spruce Goose being maybe one of the most famous boondoggle of a engineering project. Howard Hughes' famous, like, cursed aircraft. I think it only flew once. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, I am always uh, a believer in using more uh, Parmigiano Reggiano whenever possible. Come on in, buddy. Whoa, come on. My partner isn't the greatest driver in the world. Okay, that's... Okay, fair. Fair. I'm not going to take umbrage with that. All right. This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives. Yep. Phelps and Biggs. We've been, we, we've been waved through. We're investigating the explosion. And it leads us here. There may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Interesting, it actually that connects to the Spruce Goose. HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? We have an aircraft hey, part that matches hey. the Spruce Goose. You're not still with the LAPD. Of Great course. Cellmates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion yep. the electroplating plant. You know, the thing that looked like a nuclear bomb. Planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. Oh. I'm sure we can clear this Wait. Up. Follow me. It's the big hand. This guy is the connective tissue. Vernon Mapes. Who this guy Mapes? here. And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? The, the Vernon clip. Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Right. The word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Yeah. Mapes was a role model for creeps like Earl. Huh. My 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 uh, radar, my suspicious radar right. is off the charts with this guy. Because remember, we found the retired police officer's tie clip in the in the uh, the apartment. Can that thing really fly? You 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 walked in, Mr. you know. So. Everyone, you know, an amateur, but you already had like a little bit of like you know muscle in 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 uh, to to flex. Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules. Oh, yeah. That's right. Person. Call me Vernon. Yeah, you don't say the Spruce Fire Goose away. here. Oh, cool. This is so neat that we get to actually see this thing. 
But you know, you don't need to tell them that you that wasn't your first time making it. <laughs> you know, you could just let them think that you're like a pasta savant. All right. So what do you know about you know the explosion? About the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning. Yeah. No more than anyone else. Hmm. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. Huh. Oh, come on. Look at this dude. Yeah, I don't know. Because, again, my radar is already now off the charts for this guy being involved somehow. Oh, I mean, that's nice of you to say to tell the truth. But that that is a fun little moment where, like, you know, everyone is, you know, supposed to be an amateur. And then you come in, do a little pasta flex on him. Yeah, we can't catch him in a lie. So I guess maybe we bad cop. But you had no personal contact with yeah. any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. Yeah, that that I'm that insecure. tie clip is very incriminating. I have personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so do you know who Oko, uh, Okamoto is? Do you know Tomoko Akamoto? Akamoto, gotta remember that. Before. Akamoto. Why? Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't trust this guy, but we can't really catch him in a lie yet, right? Yeah, the tie pin is definitely, definitely him. It's got to be, right? I guess it's like, yeah, technically it's your first time making it, but, you know, you already have that, that knowledge. You already got that knowledge about pasta, the you deep pasta lore. You LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. Oh. I have a couple of them for my A couple days, of them, huh? Are you missing one? <laughs> Hmm. What about uh, McLean? Do you know the chief yeah. chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. Hmm. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. No, no, no. But we already have the the, the parts lead back here, right? Yeah, the prop spinner. But hold on, is there a better version of the evidence? Uh, no, not here. Wristwatch, no. No. Uh. I guess the best we have is the prop spinner, but yeah, they called and told us it was it was made for the the spruce goose. Yeah, so he's definitely full of it. So let's accuse him. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Yeah. Question is, whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Exactly. Interesting theory, kid. How you gonna prove any of that? Um, uh, I don't think you realize <laughs> that the evidence is on site there. We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. Yeah. We sent them some aluminum. Okay, parts okay. Test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theory. Uh. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. So you were working directly with the chemist. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mavis. Interesting. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Again, the the, the, the tie pin might just be a red herring. Want to take a look inside her? Oh yeah! Oh my God, we're we're at the Spruce Goose. Of course, I'm gonna check this thing out. This thing is like one of the most famous, like again, boondoggles. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, linseed oil. Hmm. McClellan's process was going to replace all this. Right, right, because it was the manual surfacing work. Hey, that's a fun hobby. I mean, coding is, I think, just one of those fun skills to have. As someone who who, who still has some programming chops, I, I think it's a lot of fun to just, you know, come, sometimes just tinker around and, and make some fun, dumb projects. Hmm. Nothing here. Oh, this is so cool. We actually get to check this thing out. Great. Oh, come on. Are you telling me you wouldn't want to check out the Spruce Goose? All right, what do we got here? Oh. Huh. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude Interesting. 76 degrees, hmm. 0 minutes west. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I, I remember taking programming uh, courses. Like, the, the way they make you annotate what you're writing. I mean, funny enough, I remember taking programming exams where they obviously, you know, you write out your code manually and they have to test it after the fact. So you can't even, like, there's no, like... You know, check on... What are we looking at here? There's something that keeps showing up here. Yeah, I think it's this hammer, but it's not letting me look at anything. Yeah. It's... it's something is... is cluing off. Like, it wants me to check something out, but I, it won't let me. Huh. 
What about this thing? No. Yeah, what? What is the, the thing that it wants me to see? There's something around here. There we go. There we go. 76 degrees west. 76 degrees. Oh. Degrees, 15 minutes north. Mm hmm. And. Is this Miami? 76 degrees west. Yeah. Ah, the Bahamas. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. 24. Be like right here, right? 24, 15? Yeah, right here. Let's see where this is exactly. Uh huh. The Bahamas? Yeah. Somebody's already got their maiden flight. Planned. Interesting, yeah. I, I, actually, funny enough, I don't know where the Spruce Goose went. I thought it was just a test flight. It did one test flight and then it was retired, basically. Huh. Okay. All right. I think that's everything we can look at up here, at least for now. Oh, this is such a cool little... Again, this game is fun for just, like, the, the time capsule or, like, time machine aspect of getting to check out all this, you know, 1940s, 19... Or, like, you know, late 1940s, early 1950s piece of, like, L.A. that are just, like, weird artifacts. What do we got here? Oh, something on the, the table here, but we can't look at it. Not interesting enough, apparently. Oh, oh, of course. I'm assuming we can actually prove that... Yeah. Like, the part itself is from around here. Is Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. Well, I mean, we just had a good guess. Take a look at the props, but... Uh-huh. We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. Okay. I mean, this looks like the matching part. Yep. Sure does. Wait. What is the oily covering on the map? Yeah, what is this? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve oh. the Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Looks like Mape's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. I mean, it's definitely the matching component, uh, or the, the 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 matching component. Sorry, the matching. So, hmm. Anything else around here? Oh, this is a big area to investigate. Yeah, I remember the Aviator. It's such an interesting movie too. The the performance that. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio did for Howard Hughes was really, really strong. Very, very compelling performance. Anything else around here? Just a lot of people investigating, checking on the engines. Huh. All right, let's check out the office then. Let's see what we can find out here. Um, that's the exit. Let's head up here. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if this is like a direct connection or is it just that espionage was being committed and that it somehow embroiled the spruce goose. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing was a behemoth. Hmm. Anything interesting here? Okay, what do we got? We got a photograph. Huh. Wait, isn't that the guy who was in the fridge on the right? Yeah. Hold on, is there anything else on this? Can we further investigate? Um, no, no. Oh, I do love cooking. Now I just want to think about what I, I want to cook tonight. All right, what do we got here? Hmm. That is Marie the Body McDonald. Okay. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, how is she connected to this? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got everything here. Let's see what Pinker has for us. Yeah. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Probably. Hmm. Don't think this is anything. Nope, nothing nothing out, out of the ordinary here. Okay, so we got all the important evidence. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not really getting a whole lot from the 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 Hughes angle here. Thanks for here. the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Other than this guy hey. missing a tie clip is kind of suspicious. Oh, I know your face from the papers. Yeah. 
You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Yeah, oh uh, God, of course, yeah. Got the wrong guy for hey! Do you know, our partner's finally coming around on us. You know, I guess Cole, you know, just being damn good at his job has earned him a little bit of respect with Herschel. All right, so let's go see what we can get from the, the actual camera. Uh, unknown address. What is this? Oh, right, right. The one in the, yes, the photograph. Okay. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Huh. It's that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. It's a little middleman deal with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? Yeah, exactly. The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Yeah. Seems like it. But again, I don't know if he was selling the process more so that he was selling him the, the product produced from the process. Like the whole goal was, you know affecting the process so that maybe he had like a monopoly on it or that he had the copyright on it. Must be yeah. a tough break being separated from your kids, Phelps. They're fine. They've got their mother and they've got each other. What about you? Jeez. What about me? What have you got? A friend of mine is helping me through it. Oh yeah? A German friend? <laughs> no, no, no. This is way more interesting than just another shootout. Yeah, I, I do wonder if, if there's more to the Spruce Goose angle, but it's just cool that it's involved in the story at all. Again, yeah, it seems like they just had a whole bunch of fun ideas for our lo locations you. and, you, and well ask you. you know, ask historical you events. Who was it that killed that oh, boy? dude. No official charges have been Yeah, you, you don't want to get that, get that can of worms the open. Version. I made a promise to the department. These old guys are soldiered down the river. Yeah, they sold you, Cole. I don't know why you're, you've got their back. 